Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you eight modest summer outfits. I know everyone has different standards of what modest dressing looks like, so I will be sure to suggest some alternative options to account for different comfort levels. So without further ado, let's get started. The first outfit features this oversized white button down and these super fun flowy snake print pants. This top is very loose and airy which makes it great even on hot summer days. What's great about a button down is that you can obviously adjust the amount of buttons you leave open or closed depending on your comfort level. I chose to button it up nearly all the way here and also tucked in one side as well just to give the look a bit more dimension. These pants are one of my favorites. They are such a statement piece and they drape and flow so beautifully, especially with movement. And they're also thin and flowy, so they're not hot, but the pattern ensures that they're not see-through either. I decided to team this outfit with this black croc shoulder bag. I think the gold chain serves almost as a jewelry piece and I like that the croc print is subtle so it doesn't clash with the snake print on the pants. I topped the outfit off with a pair of nude heels so I didn't draw too much attention away from the pants. And that finishes off the first look. For the second outfit, I wanted to bring some more color in, so I paired this short sleeve blazer with some loose baggy jeans. This blazer is such a pretty shade of green that I feel is so refreshing and makes you feel cool just by looking at it. And the fabric is a nice linen, which is perfect for summer. I think this blazer is also flattering, both buttoned and unbuttoned, so you can't go wrong either way. Underneath, I kept it simple with a white tank top, but I think you could easily swap this out for a white t-shirt if that suits your taste more. And for bottoms, I chose these high-waisted baggy jeans. I know baggy jeans are not everyone's cup of tea, but I think they are so cute. I think they complement something sharp like a blazer and help to just soften the entire outfit. For shoes, I wore a pair of nude heels and wore a matching nude crossbody bag to finish off this look. Speaking of nude toned pieces, for the third outfit I started off with this nude maxi dress. This dress is so soft and comfortable and it's the perfect dress to just throw on in the summer. I like that it's flattering without being skin tight. It does have a slit down the side, but it doesn't come up too high. To add some more dimension and coverage, I decided to tie a black cardigan around my shoulders so I could cover a bit more of my arms as well as add an extra element to an otherwise simple outfit. In keeping with the neutral color palette, I paired this with a nude baseball cap as well as some mid-calf length socks. I wanted the outfit to be casual, so I decided on my white sneakers and a canvas tote bag. And yes, this is a blue bottle tote bag. I really love this outfit. I think it's very sporty chic. And if you're not comfortable showing this much arm, you can just pop the cardigan on normally and it would still look really cute. All right, outfit number four. I'm a big fan of summer knits and I think this cardigan fits the bill so perfectly. I love the look of this. It's cozy, but still feels and looks very cool against the summer heat. It's thin and quite stretchy as well. I put a simple white tank top underneath, but again, I think a white t-shirt would look nice or you could even button the cardigan up and wear it as a polo as well. On the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of flowy white pants that are easy and breezy for summer. I love the versatility of white flowy pants and I think paired with this top, they look very classy and put together, but still cute and casual. I paired these with a pair of nude sandals and a gold chunky necklace to add some more interest. All you need to do is top it off with a nude bag and you're ready to go with outfit number four. For the fifth outfit, I am channeling my inner boss babe and pairing these dressy white Bermuda shorts with this tan tied blazer. I love the length of these shorts and the material are a more dressy crepe material so I think paired with this more casual silhouette of a Bermuda short, you can really dress them up or down. Here I've chosen to dress them up with this blazer. 
I really like that this blazer is simultaneously sharp but also flowy. I think it's nicely structured with the bottom just drapes beautifully and the tie belt at the waist really accentuates that even more. I prefer to roll up the sleeves so I've done that here and I paired this with my black croc bag and a pair of nude heels. Next up we have one of my favorite outfits. I think this outfit is so effortlessly cool while still being comfortable and casual. On top I'm wearing this mauve top with padded shoulders. I know padded shoulders are not for everyone but I personally love the exaggerated look of the shoulders and I think that it's a cute and easy way to provide a bit of extra coverage as well. Because the top is quite wide I wanted to make sure I had something a little bit more fitted on the bottom so I chose these white jeans. I love a pair of white jeans in the summer and these ones are so comfortable and flattering. I grabbed my brown croc purse for this outfit because I thought it complemented the brown tones in my top and I like that the triangular structure carried through across both pieces. For shoes, I just chose a pair of simple nude sandals and that finishes off outfit number six. The next outfit features this lovely puff sleeve blouse and this stunning silk midi skirt. What I love about this blouse is that it's thick enough that it's not see-through, but it's still thin enough for hot summer days. I like that the sleeve length is a bit longer and there is that subtle puff sleeve without being too exaggerated. It also has a sweetheart neckline that isn't too low cut compared to similar tops, but it's still very flattering. And if you didn't feel comfortable with this neckline, I have also paired this skirt with a plain white tee in the past and love that too. Speaking of the skirt, this is one of my favorites. It's such a light silky material that is just perfectly flowy. It's a very flattering cut without being too tight or too short. To keep the outfit casual, I threw on some white sneakers and a canvas tote and now you're ready for any summer outing. The last outfit brings us back to the basics. This is my absolute foolproof outfit that I truly wear all year round, and that is a white t-shirt, a blazer, and jeans. A good oversized blazer is probably one of my favorite clothing pieces, so I've taken this tan one and paired it with a plain white tee underneath. I know you might not want to wear this on a super hot day, but you could always take the blazer off during the day and just pop it back on during those cooler summer nights. On the bottom, I just have on a pair of trusty blue jeans. What can I say? You really can't go wrong with a pair of simple blue jeans. I finished the outfit off with a canvas tote bag again and a pair of nude heels, but I feel like this outfit would be super cute with sneakers or sandals as well. And that finishes off the last outfit. And that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed some of my modest summer outfit ideas. Please comment down below of any other outfit ideas videos you'd want to see and thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.